Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to cover powders, bronzers, little contouring, and some blush. So I already applied my tinted moisturizer on. So here's the first question. Do you always set with the powder? To determine whether or not you set your foundation with a powder really depends on your preference and of course your skin type. Now when I say preference, do you prefer to have a matte finish? Do you prefer to have a skin tone finish? Are you indifferent to either or? <laughs> so here's my rule. If you tend to get oily in your T-zone, your cheeks, anywhere, and you're not crazy about that or you don't like that finish, I suggest powdering. If you like the natural skin finish that your foundation leaves, you don't have to powder. Also, you don't have to powder your whole face. Some people make the mistake of getting a big powder brush and just getting the powder and just putting it all over your face. No, you don't do that. <laughs> what you do is you powder where you get shiny or where you want a more matte look. So for most people, it's usually through your T-zone because that's usually where we get oily. So that makes sense. Second, when you are powdering, not to mattify uh, your face, but just to make a simple powder, don't get a big brush and powder because that will give you a heavier look. I prefer to use a fan brush. This is the fan brush I like to use. It is a no-name brand. I use the Porcelain Pearl from Bobbi Brown. This is a brightening powder, meaning when you apply it, it gives you that slight illumination, which I really do like. And where I like to powder is through my T-zone and um, just at the tops of my cheeks. It's not, a, it's not a highlighter though. Don't think of this as a highlighter. It's more of a setting powder that's just going to give you a lit from within look. Get your fan brush. Lightly tap it. Tap off the excess. Remember, when you set your foundation, you don't have to go crazy and use big brushes and all these different powders. Keep it simple, guys. And I, I tend to get oily here, so I always make sure that I, um, I set. Alright, the next thing that I want to talk about is bronzer. For me, bronzer is definitely a must. Um, I am Hispanic, and around this time of year, my skin is very pale in the center, and through the perimeter of my face, I still have a teeny bit of a tan that I've had from, I don't know, the summer. So, one thing with bronzers is that you want to make sure you use a bronzer that goes with your skin tone. What do I mean by that? Uh, the bronzer I'm going to use is from Mali Beauty. It's called Visible Skin Bronzer in the color Lighter. If you can see, this bronzer has a golden undertone. I have a golden undertone. If I had a more red undertone, I would use uh, Medium from Bobbi Brown. Let's see. I want to compare these two so you know what I'm talking about. See how that's golden and that's red? Granted, when I get tan in the summer, I do develop a reddish undertone, and I can move to this guy. But right now, I don't have that. And if you want to know how to check what your undertone is, it's very simple. Simply just look at your chest here. I'm more golden. Some people have red. Um, a lot of times girls that are very fair or porcelain skin, they tend to have like a reddish undertone. And in that case, you use a bronzer that has a pink undertone to it because that will bring the color into your face that you have on your chest and it looks more natural rather than opting for an orange bronzer which never works. It just doesn't look good on anybody. Okay, how do you put bronzer on? You need a bronzer brush. Um, a few of them look like stippling brushes. Some people like to use angled, um, angled brushes like this. I prefer to use this brush. This is a bronzer brush. This one's from Philosophy. Um, it's from their color line. I don't know if they still have it. 
but uh, if not, Bobby Brown has one too that looks identical. Let's see, this is Bobby, this is Philosophy. I'm going to use my Philosophy one. So what you want to do, bronzer, brush, tap off the excess. You want to put bronzer where the sun naturally hits your face. So it's going to be all the high points, meaning your forehead, your cheeks, your nose, and your chin. And make sure when you do put your bronzer on, get in your hairline. Otherwise, you'll have the bronzer color, but you'll still see that uh, your natural skin color. And also, remember that the purpose of a bronzer isn't to change your skin tone. It's just to warm up your face. It's a big misconception of bronzer where people use it to make themselves look tan. That's not the point of bronzer. It's just to give you like a healthy, healthy appearance. And in my case, how I said before, I'm Hispanic. If I don't use some bronzer, my skin tends to look very yellow. And I don't like that look. I like a, I like a natural look and, you know, just a little warmth. This step is optional. Um, it's contouring. I don't do the blown out contour. I, I, I do use a powder. My 109 MAC brush. Uh, the head is small enough to kind of get into your cheekbones. Like I said, I don't go too crazy with this. I just do slight contouring just to kind of give my face a more defined look. It's not an everyday thing that I do, but you know, I just want to show you guys how I do it. The color that I'm using is medium deep. This is a MAC mineralized skin finish. Alright, this is pretty pigmented. So when you do this, get your brush. Make sure you tap off the excess. You want to start light and work your way to a shade that you are comfortable with because it's easier to build a color and to take it off. Alright, so the way I do it is I make the fish face. It's just easier for me. So, when I make my fish face, I'm going to tilt over so you can see um, the hollow in my cheekbone and I'm just going to play it up. go in a back and forth motion. Start from your ear down. Don't start here because you want the color to be more concentrated towards your ear, not here because then it will look like you have um, a dirty face or not a dirty face, uh, a muddy looking color on your face. Um, towards the temples and up here because I have a really big forehead <laughs> so I like to make it look like it's smaller than it is. So this, you kind of just want to go over like where you put your bronzer, but this is, like I said, since it's a more concentrated color, take your time with it. Don't, um, don't go too crazy. And like I said, start light, work your way up. The last place that I like to contour is right here. And that you just take it right, like kind of under your chin, because you want to create a shadow, which slims the face. You don't have to do this. Um... That's optional. Alright, and the last step in this category of powders is blush. Your cheeks naturally get flushed. You want to mimic that color. Now, if you don't feel like running and finding out that color, what you can do is look at the color of your lips. Really, the inside of your lips. Here. Um, that color, you want to match it or get, at least get as close as you can to it. Um, and that's the perfect color for your cheeks. Another thing you can do is if you find a color that is similar to that and you just pick one that's a little more pink, you can definitely use that and that would give you a nice lifting um, effect on your cheeks. So for me, I'm going to use another Mali product. This one is called Rose Flush. I got it as a kit. I'm not sure if it's sold on its own. And you're going to want to get a blush brush. This one that I'm going to use is the Bobbi Brown blush brush. It's a really good brush. It's the perfect size to cover the apples of your cheeks, as you can see. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to get your brush, and you're going to lightly 
put it into your blush. One thing you have to remember is blushes are usually very pigmented, so make sure you tap off the excess. And you're going to smile. Don't smile too much, but just soft smile. And just get on the apples of your cheeks. Go up into your ear. Almost like a check mark, like that. See what a difference? Blush on this side and nothing on this side does. It's already lifting, it just gives a little more color, it makes me look more um, radiant. Always blend the rest of your blush towards the back of your ear. And that's it. It's a very natural look, it's nice, it's pretty easy too. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want me to go into more detail with a product or you have a request, let me know. Leave a comment down below. And thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys.